Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a special theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Project Dark Coaster. Now this is a potentially leaked 2023 project for Busch Gardens Williamsburg in the old Curse of Dark Castle site. Uh, now this from BGW Fan, so big shout out to them for all the content used in this video. Um, but this is about the brand new project. Now before we get started talking about this, make sure you do like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you buy on the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's go into a bit more detail on Project Dark Castle. Or Dark Coaster, should we say. So what do we confirmed to be known? What's confirmed to be known about Project Dark Oster? Well, it's currently in development and it's anticipated to be ready for 2023. It's slated to inhabit the former home of the Curse of Dark Castle Dark Ride. It's planned to be a unique, fully indoor, intimate family coaster featuring two launch sections, two fast track switches, numerous twists and turns, somewhere around 1,600 feet of track-ish, and five car trains accommodating 10 riders per train. Now, the project is likely to to, so not confirmed to but likely to reach a max height of somewhere around 30 feet complete two laps of the core layout per ride cycle making it a quad launch coaster and effectively a roughly 2500 ish foot long ride experience it'll feature two of intamin's upright low bat motorbike-esque trains and it'll reuse much of the remaining curse of dark castle theming what we don't know about the project yet is simple the name the theme the speed and the colors now if you're probably thinking what's this whole quad section going to look like what's the whole quad launch and how's it going to work so basically you've got two fast track switches which is on the bgw fans diagram on your screen at the moment it's been on your screen for a while so shout out to bgw fans for this lovely um image as you can see the bizarre multi-lap layout is accomplished with a pair of intermins fast track switches and a dedicated station area bypass track not only does it set up allow dark coaster to cycle a train around the core layout more than once without it having to traverse the station area but it also enables the unique multi-lap coaster layout to run more than one train at a time you can find a rudimentary animation depicting how multi-train dark coaster operations will likely work uh, on this article which i've linked in the description down below the video assuming this attraction operates as depicted in the animation this unique dual fast trip switch setup paired with a dedication station bypass track makes for a really fascinating little coaster it turns project dark coast from a sort of short dual launcher to a reasonably long quad launcher not too shabby at all for a coaster constructs the italian side of former dark ride building um now of course if you do want to see um a sort of like for like um, animation of what the coaster will probably look like then go on to BGW fans YouTube channel and go and check that out but it's fair to say this coaster looks it, it looks amazing in fact I'd probably give it my fan dabby dozy grade let's share my thoughts on project dark coasters first details there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about Project Dark Coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Now, obviously, this is going to be a wonderful project. Really can't wait for this. I so can't wait for this. I think that um, overall, I I would personally say that this is a wonderful investment. I would think that um, Curse of Dark, o uh, Dark Castle was a decent looking dart ride and I think that the Project Dark Coaster which could be replacing the ride in 2023 uh, looks very very good. Now of course there is a timeline on that specific article which I've linked in the description down below of the event so of course there was the original plans for the Project Madrid uh, a few years back and then they were shelved and it became sort of two different coasters uh, the Dragon Spire Project which we've spoken about before on the channel and uh, also Pantheon which is opening uh, this year, later this year However, the Jack and Spire plans looks to have been shelved as well, and we're now getting this Dark Coaster, which is set to be um, a replacement project for the Jack and Spire project. Now, this is set to open in 2023, which is around the time when this Jack and Spire project was supposed to open. Um, 
so this is what we're looking at here this is like the replacement to that shelved project that second shelved project um and i think it makes good use of the space now of course like i said we don't know the name the theme the uh, the colors um or the the you know the speed of the ride for example so um obviously there's going to be a, still a, a few guessing games this could be one of the big updates going into the summer uh, to see if we find out any more about this an official announcement from the park if it if and when it does come um, but for me, I think this could be a wonderful project, really wonderful project. And with the del delays to Pantheon, two coasts in back-to-back -back years. I like the sound of that. Uh, so there we are. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Chow, Kill on the Coast Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a dark coaster-tastic day. <laughs>